Facts First presents DNA test says she's not the mother, then mom finds out she's her own twin? Before we get into this crazy story, help us spread the word about Facts First by clicking that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. When it comes to maternity tests and paternity tests, the paternity tests are much more common. There aren't too many incidents where a mom has to prove that her child is actually hers. In cases of kidnapping or when an adopted child is trying to find their long-lost mother, then a maternity test would be performed. Since there is medical evidence of a woman giving birth, it's pretty uncommon for a woman to ask for a maternity test to be performed on a child that she gave birth to. Paternity tests are far more common. When a child is born and a father wants proof the child actually is his, paternity tests are performed. Lydia Fairchild met her boyfriend, Jamie Townsend, and instantly fell in love. The couple had a wonderful relationship for a while. Lydia became pregnant and gave birth to her first child. A year later, she became pregnant with the couple's second child, and things were great. Sadly, though, when she found out that she was pregnant with her third child with Jamie, things with the couple began to fall apart. Many couples who are having problems when there's a baby on the way do try to stay together, you know, for the sake of the kids. Lydia and Jamie, however, did not. They knew things weren't working out, so they decided to end things before they started hating one another. Lydia was sure that she was making the right decision by letting Jamie go. Since Lydia was going to have physical custody of the children, Jamie would need to pay child support. In all cases of child support, DNA tests are required in order for child support to be granted. The courts told the former couple that the whole family would need a DNA test. That would include Jamie, Lydia, and the two children they already had. There would be another DNA test in the future when Lydia gave birth to the couple's third child. When the DNA tests came back, the results were shocking, but not in a way you'd expect. The tests showed that Jamie was the children's biological father. However, the test also showed that Lydia was not their mother. Well, she refused to accept this, understandably. She knew she's the one that carried those children for nine months. She knew she went through hours of hard labor to bring her children into the world. How could she not be the mother? How could a DNA test say that she wasn't the one who gave birth to these children? She had the test repeated numerous times, and each time the results were the same. She was not the mother of her own children. Well, Lydia was devastated when that last test came back, saying that her children weren't hers. How could this be? Were her children switched at birth? If that was the case, what are the odds that it would have happened twice? But then again, even if that did happen, how would that explain Jamie being the father of those children? The media began to speculate what had happened. Since they didn't know Lydia, many people were starting to assume that she had kidnapped her children. People were saying the kids should be taken away from her, which was heartbreaking. Her only hope was the birth of her new baby. Lydia told the doctors her story, so when she went into labor with her third child, she was closely monitored. Everything was documented from the moment she walked into the hospital until her baby was born. After the birth, several nurses stayed with the baby until the second the maternity test was performed. The lab tech was told what had happened and was told to make sure nothing went wrong with the test. Everything was done with great care to prove the child was in fact Lydia's. When the maternity test came back, everybody was shocked yet again. The doctors and nurses knew Lydia gave birth to her child. They were there to witness it. But the DNA test still came back that Lydia was not the mother. The doctors had to look elsewhere for answers. Lydia's doctors had to seek out Dr. Lynn Yule, a pathologist, to get some answers. And she made a groundbreaking discovery. It turned out that when Lydia was in the womb, there was another embryo in there with her. While still in the womb, the two embryos fused together to form one single human being. And that meant that Lydia had the blood DNA of one person, but the DNA tissue of another. Lydia may have given birth to her children, 
but their real mother was her twin sister that she had absorbed while in the womb. Lydia couldn't believe what she was hearing. It's kind of hard for me to believe it as I'm telling you this. The DNA test said she wasn't the mother, and she finds out that she's her own twin. Well, when Lydia found out about what had happened with her children, she found out she wasn't the only woman this had happened to. A woman named Karen Keegan found out through a DNA test that her adult sons weren't hers. Just like Lydia, her absorbed twin was the mother of her son. Sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, doesn't it? But this is science fact. But also science freaky. Subscribe for more.